What we are looking at here is a completely new kind of a computer-generated 3D model. It is based on a recently developed method where, through deep learning, very accurate models resembling the original image can be created from a 3D point cloud. This presentation method is called Neural Radiance Field Technique. And right now, a whole new way of presenting it has been found. It is called Gaussian splatting. Hello boys and girls, it's Olli here again and I have to say that we are living very exciting times. Only a few months ago I started researching this new 3D technology and even at that point it seems like a very revolutionary new way to approach the production of 3D environments. Nerf technology is very young and has only been developed since year 2020. And actually, only now have we received services like Luma AI or 3D Presso that rely on this technology. But while these services are trying to bring this technology closer to users, various researching groups are constantly finding new and better ways to present nerves. INDRIA, the French National Institute for Computer Science and Applied Mathematics, has very recently published a paper about this method, which managed to make current nerve renders faster by optimizing sparse points and representing them with 3D Gaussians. Which basically means that it will take out the foggy and scruffy looking volumetric structure which we have seen so far with these nerve renders and replace them with these ellipse-shaped spots and spiky splats. This not only makes the model look better and more accurate, but it also significantly speeds up the calculation time used for it. When we compared the quality to, for example, the basic NERF rendering produced by Luma AI, where the model is often trained with tens of thousands of iterations, Gaussian splatting managed to look better using only a few thousand iterations for the calculation. This also improves the very properties such as shiny reflections and transparent surfaces that radiance field technology is known for and for which it was originally developed. It can capture the properties of materials from source images much better and make them immediately visible and is therefore much more finished looking than the mesh surface models which are commonly used so far. For example, I was scanning this Captain Haddock figure with the photogrammetry method with the small turntable and well-lit setup and my original intention was making a basic polygon model out of it. But when I heard about this new Gaussian splatting technique, I thought I'd try what kind of a model it could make from it using the same source images. Indrium has released the source code of their Gaussian splatting research and they are sharing it on the GitHub platform. But I have to say right away that it is very complicated and difficult to try to use it if you are not familiar with the use of different program test environments and the scripts run from the command prompt. Fortunately, there are instructions for all this. Nerf guru Jonathan Stephens has made a really good video on how you can install all necessary utilities and dependency programs to make it work on Windows system. So I recommend you to watch this video on Jonathan's YouTube channel if you want to try this. But still, it is worth noting that there is also quite demanding hardware requirements for this. You should have something like NVIDIA RTX level graphic card with at least 
24 gigs of VRAM memory in order to achieve similar results to those used in the study. But at least I managed to make these samples with my own RTX 3070 graphics card, even though I do not have such amount of VRAM memory. In my opinion, the results that can be achieved from video material which is shot with a regular mobile phone camera are absolutely fantastic. Even though the power of my computer is not enough to clean all the floating artifacts created in the model, I am very surprised how accurate 3D representations this caution splatting technique can produce. It feels like a next level invention and it's fascinating to think about where all applications this can be used for. Especially if you think about the possibilities of virtual reality, this can be a very revolutionary next step on that field. But while waiting for all this to happen, it is also fun to think about which of these new generation AI startups companies will make this available to everyone. Will it be Luma AI or someone else? In any case, we are living in very exciting times right now, and I at least plan to follow this development very closely in the future. I hope this video gave you some idea and understanding what the cause and splatting is. If you like this, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.